Hi everybody and welcome to Storytime with me, Lady Butterfly. Now I hope we have some budding scientists watching today because this book is all about the power of scientific experimentation. But before we discover what's beneath these pages, I'd like to share a few positive affirmations to help you get through the day. Let's start by closing our eyes, taking a deep breath in and out. Now, repeat after me. Today, I am a leader. I am capable of so much. I believe in myself and my abilities. I can make a difference. I can change the world. You can find these affirmations in the description right under this video. And today, whenever you're feeling doubtful, Feel free to say them again and again until you believe it. Today we'll be reading Little Einstein's Save the Beach by Cavell Hilton. This is a heartwarming story about a boy named Joshua who loves the beach and learns an important lesson about taking care of the environment. Are you ready to join Joshua on his adventure? Let's dive in! Little Einstein's Save the Beach Written by Cavell Hilton With illustrations by Tulip Studio Little Adjective A phrase from Jamaican Patois Generally used to say the word little or small Dedicated to my little Einstein, Joshua it's a beautiful day on the tropical island of Jamaica, where Joshua and little Einstein lives with his parents. Joshua loves the beach. Can we go to the beach today? Joshua asks mom. Yes, we can, mom says. Grab your swimmer and let's go. Joshua is so excited and jumps for joy. He does as mom asked and then gets in the car, ready to go. They're at the beach within 15 minutes. Joshua hears reggae music and crashing waves. He feels the warmth of the sun on his face and the tiny grains of sand between his toes. Oh look mom! There are some seagulls over there, Joshua says, pointing to the group of seagulls diving for fish. With a huge grin on his face, he walks towards the water to take a closer look. Joshua notices that one of the seagulls has a plastic bottle in his beak. Mom, that seagull is in trouble. Joshua exclaims. He realizes that the water isn't clean. It has plastic bags and plastic bottles floating in it. Wow, I'm not surprised, mom says. These seabirds eat the plastic thinking it is food and get sick. This has been happening more and more. Mom, that's horrible. What can we do to help? Joshua asks. Well, we can reuse, reduce, and recycle. But we also need to spend time cleaning up our beaches and rivers, Mom replies. Joshua has an idea, but he needs some help from the other little Einsteins. He decides to make some invisible ink with the materials from his stem builder's box. 
to send a secret message to his friends Zion and Bianca. Joshua carefully measures out some baking soda and water and pours them into a beaker. He mixes them to make invisible ink. Using a paintbrush, he writes his secret message. Zion and Bianca will have to use the secret reagent in their STEM Builders box to decode the message and learn about the mission. Zion carefully paints the turmeric mixture across the paper. He and Bianca watch in amazement as the turmeric reacts with the baking soda, turning it bright red and revealing Joshua's secret message. Dear Bianca and Zion, come quickly, we have a mission. The very next day, the little Einsteins get together. Joshua tells them what he saw at the beach. Bianca is shocked and holds her face in amazement. Joshua suggests that they use the slime, a non-Newtonian fluid, to pick up some of the plastic and save the beach. Great idea, Bianca says. But what if we make a giant slime? Think about it. If we use all the materials in our STEM Builders box, we could make slime large enough to save the beach. They all agree and can hardly wait to get started. Mum overhears them and asks, So what is your hypothesis? A hypo-what? Zion asks, a worried look on his face. Ooh, hypothesis! I think we found our word of the day! Hypothesis What do you think it means? That's a very good guess, but let's check the dictionary just to be sure. A hypothesis is an idea or explanation for something that is based on known facts that has not yet been proven. Mm, I'm excited to see what the result of Joshua's hypothesis will be. Mom says, a hypothesis is a scientific guess or prediction. Why don't you test the slime to see if it's a good material to pick up plastic? The results of the test will determine if your hypothesis is correct. I'm not sure about the hypo thesis, but testing this line does sound fun, Zion says. I think this line will work because it can stretch, Joshua says. He stretches the slime, which extends to 20 centimeters before breaking. Well, the slime is good at picking stuff up, says Bianca. She uses the slime to pick up some paper clips and beads from the floor. Zion picks up his slime and squishes it in his palm. It oozes like a liquid. What is in this stuff? Zion exclaims. And they all laugh. I think slime, which is neither solid nor liquid, is a good material to pick up the small pieces of plastic and save the beach, says Bianca. Zion and Joshua agree. Mom shouts from the other room. Aha! That is your hypothesis. Mom reminds them that safety comes first. So, they quickly put on their goggles, lab coats, and gloves. I feel like a superhero, Zion squeals. We are superheroes, says Joshua. And heroine, shouts Bianca. They all laugh. 
It's now time to make a giant slime and save the beach. The little Einsteins are super excited. Joshua suggests that they all read the instructions carefully before beginning. Bianca gathers everything they'll need to make the slime, while Zion, spatula in one hand and cornstarch in the other, is ready to combine the ingredients. They mix the cornstarch and hair conditioner in a large bowl. The slime is sticky and drips off their fingers. Is it supposed to be this wet? Bianca asks. Maybe we're doing it wrong, Zion says. As Joshua reads the instructions aloud, they realize they need to add more cornstarch. The slime becomes a soft and fluffy dough. This is so much fun, Zion explains. What color should we make the slime? Bianca asks. Blue like the ocean, Zion suggests. Good idea, Bianca says. I think we should make it red, Joshua says. The little Einsteins can't decide which color to choose. And time is running out. They must complete the mission and save the beach. What if we combine the colors? Bianca says. Blue and red are primary colors, so we can combine them to make purple. Good idea, Joshua and Zion say. They all giggle and go back to making the slime. They add several drops of red and blue food coloring to make a glorious, giant, fluffy, purple slime. Wow! Zion shouts. This is so cool! Bianca squeals. And it smells like coconut! Joshua exclaims. The little Einsteins are so happy. Mom hears their squeals and giggles and comes to investigate. Mom, can you please take us to the beach so that we can test our hypothesis? Joshua asks. Sure, Joshua. Clean up your area and let's go. The little Einsteins take their slime to the beach and use it to pick up plastic bottles, bottle caps, plastic bags, and even plastic forks. Our hypothesis was correct, Joshua declares. Yes, Bianca agrees. The slime was both strong and stretchy, making it the perfect material to pick up the plastic and save the beach. So strong, that it also picked up the sand, Zion adds, and they all laugh. Maybe next time we'll find a way to separate the sand from the slime. That could be our next mission, Joshua says softly. The end. For today's activity, we will be recycling cell items that you could find around the house by using them to make our own versions of a musical instrument called the Miraculous. For this, you will need foil paper, toilet paper rolls, beads or pebbles, and some tape. Step 1. Gather your beads or tiny pebbles. Step 2. Take a toilet paper roll and cover one side with foil.
Step 3. Fill the roll with the beads or pebbles. Step 4. Cover the other end of the roll with foil and secure both ends with tape. Have fun making music! To win a free copy of this book, be the first to answer this question correctly in the comments over on our Instagram page. What was it that inspired Joshua and the other little Einsteins to save the beach? Good luck! And remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow us to see more stories. Here's what's coming up next time on Storytime with Lady Butterfly. We'll be reading Kingston Zoo Venture by Ronique Holgate with Illustrations by Liliana Gariva. Hmm, a zoo venture. Sounds like another exciting experience. That's it for now, folks. Until next time, keep reading, keep exploring, keep experimenting, keep being curious and kind. See you next time. Bye-bye.